I'm Dr. Meher Mulkarni, consultant nephrologist practicing in Thane since the last 13 years. Today we are going to discuss on chronic kidney disease and its prevention. So as we know, a stitch in time saves life. Chronic kidney disease as we know is not curable and the cost of end-stage renal disease is exorbitant. And the patient can be asymptomatic. Immediate checkup and diagnosis is very very important. Kidney failure can progress through risk factors. It can damage the kidney, cause decrease in the functioning of the kidney, ultimately leading to kidney failure and death. So we have to act very urgently so that kidney failure is prevented. So who should get their kidneys checked? Any patients with symptoms of kidney disease, diabetics, uncontrolled hypertension, family history of kidney disease, diabetes and hypertension, smokers, people who are obese, overweight, anyone who is 60 years and above, on long term treatment with painkillers and any history of any congenital deformities of the urinary tract in childhood. So what are the signs and symptoms of kidney disease which we should recognize so that early intervention can be planned? It can be just simple like general fatigue, poor concentration in work, swelling of the feet, face, abdomen, low body ache, leg cramps, weight loss, restlessness, bone pains, fractures and retarded growth in children. It can cause a high blood pressure, it can cause heart failure, breathlessness also. Sometimes it could be simple like nausea, vomiting, decrease in the appetite, hiccups. Sometimes itching of the skin, the skin may be pale, anemic. Neurologically patients may have mental state of changes, convulsions, sometimes they can present in a very serious state with coma. Sleep problems could be the signs of kidney disease, decrease in the urine volume, noctua, that is person passing excess urine in the night and in ladies menstrual problems. So these are some of the symptoms of kidney disease where you have to be careful and measure and do the serum creatinine which is the most important test to diagnose kidney function. So symptoms are like asymptomatic, even the urine can be asymptomatic, it can have red urine or sometimes loss of proteins in the urine and otherwise the patient is totally asymptomatic other than the urine showing some abnormalities. As I told, hypertension, unexplained anemia, incidental elevation of the serum creatinine, uremic emergencies like convulsions, coma, patient comes in severe breathlessness and has to be urgently taken up for intervention and electrolyte abnormalities. Electrolyte abnormalities in the form of sodium abnormalities, potassium abnormalities are there. So what is this creatinine? Creatinine is a marker of kidney function. Normal creatinine is 0.7 to 1.3 in a male and slightly less 0.6 to 1.1 in a female. But there are a lot of pitfalls of this creatinine. The serum creatinine is a very poor reflection of early kidney disease. If the damage to the kidney is less than 60%, the creatinine will still be normal. So almost all early renal failure patients are asymptomatic and that's why screening is very very important. So there are simple three tests. One is your blood pressure measurement. Second is your serum creatinine which is done in the blood. And the third is a routine urine examination and a urine microalbumin testing. If these four tests are done and if these tests are okay, no one can stop your kidneys from getting damaged. So who are, do all diabetics get uh, kidney disease? No, not really. Who are at high risk? So someone whose blood pressure by control is poor, someone whose blood pressure is very high, more than 130-80, someone who is a smoker, someone whose relatives have had kidney disease or high blood pressure or diabetes also and even if their brothers or sisters or their parents are diabetics, if their diabetes has begun in teens, that is before 20 years of age, they are more at risk of kidney disease, male patients, obese as we discussed earlier, cholesterol, triglycerides, if the lipid levels are increased, they are at risk and someone who has eye or nerve damage due to diabetes, they are also at risk of kidney disease. Do not ignore hypertension even at a young age. It could be a marker of early kidney disease. So when do we see a nephrologist? As early as kidney disease is diagnosed. Sometimes diabetes and hypertension is not the only cause of kidney disease. It could be something else. The glomerulus is the filtering unit of the nephron and sometimes glomerular diseases can present with a very high creatinine and sometimes can lead to kidney failure. So a nephrologist can decide if a kidney biopsy is needed. So that is the time we see the nephrologist. Anytime there is a jump in the creatinine, unexplained urinary abnormalities, regularly the patient has to show the nephrologist in chronic kidney disease, uncontrolled hypertension, even a small increase in the creatinine has to be tackled and a urine showing protein or blood loss has to be seen by a nephrologist. So there are keys to primarily prevent all this. There is no, I mean, if we do not prevent kidney disease, ultimately it results in dialysis. So we have to prevent and there are simple ways of prevention. Glycemic control, sugar control. HbA1c which gives us an estimate of the sugar over the past 3 months that has to be less than 7. The blood pressure should be 130-80 or less. Urine albumin and creatinine has to be monitored at least once a year. Ideally once in 6 months but at least once a year should do. 
avoid alcohol avoid tobacco avoid smoking and avoid pain killers over the counter pain killers especially do not take pain killers without prescription from your doctor and do not take them from long treat cholesterol diet is very important avoid salt in the diet avoid excess salt in the diet avoid saturated fats in the diet lifestyle modifications go for a walk exercise that's very very important physical activity is very important weight reduction is important and a regular follow up with your doctor is very very important thank you Thank you.